A ring final is essentially two parallel resistive paths from the origin to any load. Loads to the midpoint of the ring get an almost equal split. Loads to near one end pull more current due to the shorter path. So resistance is proportional to length. The longer the length, the greater the resistance. Current is inversely proportional to resistance. The greater the resistance, the lower the current. Longer legs mean higher resistance, so less current in those legs. Shorter legs, less resistance, more current. That's why sharing the load in a ring is important. If a load is moved closer to the origin, you'll have less resistance and more current. An estimation of the load on each leg can be determined with this formula. So for a 20 amp load, 75% is in the 10 meter leg. We can control what people plug in, but we can design it to limit high current loads at one end. And these currents add up. As you can see here, this final two meter section is overloaded, but we also need to consider time. How long is the cable going to be in overload for? Ideally no time. Consider a kettle in a tumble dryer and their load characteristics. We'll look at this in the next one.